What is up, guys? It is Strider coming at you with some more Pokemon content. Uh, today we are going to do a Week 5 matchup between Zack Attack uh, and the Oklahoma City Thunderous. Uh, Zack Attack brought Zapdos, Mega Sharpedo, Chansey, Skarm, like the death, most annoying, one of the most annoying wall cores from older Pokemon games, uh, uh, Vaporeon and Gyarados uh, versus Entei. Uh, well, let's see, versus Entei. Um, Sandslash, Salamance, um, uh, what is this, Charizard Y, yeah, he has Mega Charizard Y, um, Electric, and, um, uh, Landorus T. Uh, looking at his team, uh, depending on what this Gyarados is built, this Gyarados could literally kill, like, if this Gyarados gets up, I'm gonna say one Dragon Dance, uh, he could actually kill the entire team. Uh, will that happen? I don't know, but I mean, just think about it. Waterfall, waterfall, waterfall. Uh, well, even uh, uh, let's just say waterfall, waterfall, waterfall. Uh, ice Fang, Ice Fang, Earthquake. So just kills the entire team uh, with the right spread. We'll see what he did. Uh, and then over here, uh, team Pokemon that could do a lot of work for him. Um, I don't know. Uh, Entei is always a big threat. Uh, I mean, his whole team is pretty threatening. Uh, Landorus T can do some work, but yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, Chansey's actually not going to be very good here, uh, except for uh, he really just needs to save it for the Zard and this thing, um, especially this thing, the the Zard. Uh, he has other things that can probably take this on just fine, like Zapdos probably laughs at anything uh, this Manectra can do. Um, but yeah, this Zard, if he can save his Chansey for this Zard, uh, Zard's not going to do anything. Uh, let's just go ahead and get right into it. I will put this on, we'll put it on fast. Uh, so Sand Slash for Chansey, uh, there is a, I was going to say, there is a chance he has Knock Off. I'm going to slow this down a little bit. Uh, so I probably would have switched. Uh, that's really, really bad for Chansey. Uh, like, she, he needs to switch right now uh, because Sand Slash honestly can probably kill it uh, because Chansey is just so weak. Um, he does get rocks up as well. Uh, he gets toxic, but whatever. If I'm if I'm if I'm the uh, if I'm uh, if I'm um, the thunderous here, I'm totally okay with his exchange. Uh, yeah, and then as you can see, another thunder earthquake should just kill him. Uh, yeah, so that was not good. Uh, he definitely does not need his chance in against this sand slash. I probably would have just switched into Skarmory right away, um, or even something that threatens it, like Vaporeon or Gyarados. Like Gyarados could have just came in and set up on this thing. Uh, and the game could have just straight up been over, depending on what moves this guy has. Because uh, Scaredus doesn't actually care about knockoff. Uh, Vaporeon is scared of Salamis for some reason. I don't know why. I mean, I guess if you have, he might have, um, if he has Ice Beam, I would have stayed in for sure. Sharpedo goes for Protect as Salamis goes for another Dragon Dance. This is very, very bad for, or, um, for Zack Attack here. He needs to switch out right now. Uh, he stays in and dies. Uh, he should have just switched into his Skarmory immediately. Uh, and then uh, just whirlwinded him out. Uh, okay, so he does now go into Skarmory, which is kind of weird. Um, he eats the Dragon Claw. He Skarmory will tank this thing all day. Um, oh, he does switch out the uh, Salamance. Uh, Skarmory whirlwinds him out, which is pretty cool. Uh, right in the Salamance again. Uh, I would consider just roosting here. Like, this thing can't do anything to me. Or defogging, I guess. Okay, he does roost. Yeah, roost or defog would have been a fine play there. Maybe I would have defog just to get rid of these uh, these rocks. He goes for the Brave Bird. I don't know why he's staying in. Uh, he needs to switch out very badly. Um, he's going to eat a Thunderbolt and nearly die. Uh, and go for another Brave Bird, which is not a good idea. That is an electric type versus the flying type. You need to switch out, my man. And see, the crappy thing now, though, is he, it's too late for him to switch out because... Now that thing's just going to die. And then again, he switches in a water type into an electric type. I don't know why. Um, Zapdos is in here. Zapdos, again, kind of handles this thing. Uh, he should have switched this thing in a long time ago. Uh, that was a crit. So, like, I mean, that sucks, but that, that was a crit. So he's going to be just fine. Barring another crit, I guess. He needs a roost here, though. Yeah, he does get off the roost, and he should be fine now. Um... If I'm electric, maybe I just Volt Switch here and try to get into something a little more powerful to deal with this thing. Because um, Manectric's just not really ever going to win this fight. I don't, I don't know if he's ever going to lose. Well, it'll take him a long time to lose, but he's not going to win. Okay, so he does finally Volt Switch out uh, into Landorus. Okay. 
Uh, if I'm Landorus, you might not... Yeah, I was going to say that. You, you saw him hitting him with a hidden power. I was going to guess that was HP Ice. Um, he does U-turn out of there. Doesn't really do a whole lot. Uh, into Entei. Entei should be able to kill with, like, Sacred Fire or something. If it connects. He does go for the Sacred Fire, and it does connect, and Zapdos is dead. Uh, yeah, just some... Some misuse over here. Uh, Gyarados probably can't even take an extreme speed at this point. Or, okay, it can, but... Oh, I guess he has Intimidate, duh. I forgot he had Intimidate. Ice Fang, not really a great idea to go over the Ice Move on the Fire type. Uh, but it is fine. Uh, and then extreme speed is going to kill uh, the Gyarados here. Yeah, I really think Gyarados, looking over this team, had a real opportunity uh, to sweep uh, if he would have maybe been able to maneuver it in a little better. Um... And yeah, just just from from turn one, you you don't want to let your chance to get knocked off. That is terrible. That is not a good idea. You need to get that thing out of there. Um, yeah, this was kind of just a shellacking. I don't really have a whole lot to say. Um, the game was not super close, uh, but uh, yeah, I don't know. Hopefully, uh, Zach Attack uh, can use this game as a learning experience. Um, that actually puts. Uh, Let's see, that puts that puts the Thunderous at 3 and 2, so they finally get over the hump of, uh, of 500. They are now above 500. Um, and then uh, that puts Zack Attack at, I think, 1 and 3. Um, yeah, that actually makes the playoff race very interesting, especially after the next game. You'll see why. Uh, I'll bring it up. Um, but yeah, that's uh, the second game of Week 5, I think. Uh, and I'll have the other one up shortly. Thanks, guys, for watching.